Hello, YouTube friends. This is Richard Maybe with Richard Maybe Presents. And uh, off with another exciting episode. And um, in this episode, I'm going to once again take you on my journey, my daily journey, journey to get the mail. So straight ahead we have Foxy's tree. The journey begins. A lot of uh, lawns being mowed today. This is one of the high spots of my day. Oh, I forgot the key. Heading back home to get the key. Okay, I got the key to the mailbox and once again I begin my journey to the mailbox center. I generally forget the key to the mailbox maybe about Oh, a quarter of the time, like one out of four times that I, sometimes I end up going all the way to the mailbox and then I realize I forgot the mailbox key. And at that point I just give up because it's a half mile walk each way and uh, it's just not worth going up there, coming back. And I really miss having a mailbox in my front yard is one of the things I really miss. Usually there's more people walking around this time of day. It's uh Let's see, it's 2.30 in the afternoon, but then uh, Bonanza's on now, so that explains a lot. Let's see, I got a rock in my shoe. Yeah, two o'clock Bonanza's on, so a lot of the people huddle in their homes at two o'clock for the, uh, here's the FedEx guy, the FedEx person, I should say. And there goes the FedEx. That's always an exciting point. Uh, I always get a kick out of that, waving to the, uh, the FedEx driver or the UPS driver kind of makes my day but uh, usually the FedEx lady takes a right turn and today she took the left turn so uh, I didn't get to wave to her kind of you know kind of a bummer but as you remember this is the house with the, the blue flowers that I like so much but a lot of the flowers are are not blooming so well Got a stone in my shoe here. I wanted to have this one long stretch so that I don't have to edit too much. That's better. Here comes the white truck coming down here.
friendly wave there. As I say, uh, a lot happening today. A lot of people outside and talking to their neighbors and that kind of thing. Never a dull moment here in Happy Land. Well, I'm gonna take a break now, and then I'll probably uh, start up the camera again when I get to my bench. There's the uh, famous Village of Amelia sign. So, not too far to go to the mailbox center. I'm gonna walk over here. That's the swimming pool area straight ahead. Not a lot of people in the pool today. Usually this whole parking lot's filled with golf carts. Go over to my bench and just rest for just a few minutes. And uh, there's the landmark electrical room. I've uh, never been in there, but uh, I understand they have a lot of uh, electrical stuff in there. The electrical room. And there's my bench. Let's see if anybody's playing golf right now. There's a palm tree right beside my bench and another palm tree and there's the back side of the pool here I come to my bench and uh, coming around here And there's my uh, bench. At my bench, and it just has some golfers go by. And interestingly enough, this is where you tee off, but they just drove by. But there's the furthest, the closest place to tee off is way down there, and all four of them are going to tee off there. That's 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 the medium one there, and that's the uh, you know, I guess the pro one. You know, the really good golfers tee off there. So usually I uh, I bring one old picture to the bench, and uh, today I brought uh, a picture of uh, my dear Shetland Sheepdog. Gidget, whom we had from 1984 till 1996, so she lived to be 12 years old. It takes a moment to focus, just have to be there, there. She loved the snow. Uh, wonderful dog, great dog, just loved the snow. The woods there behind her in the photo, uh, they, in 1996, they built um, these big, big mansions back there 
on postage stamp lots. So the woods are all gone now. Kind of sad. Great dog. Very, very smart dog. Wonderful dog. I uh, more or less have become an official old guy. You know, I go up to get the mail and then, uh, you know, watch uh, a couple of the few of the golfers tee off, sit on my bench, and then uh, get home about three o'clock and watch an episode of Gunsmoke or Bonanza. You know, I've really become uh, <laughs> I've officially become an old guy. You know, so well, I'm gonna head off to the mailbox now. Exciting day here. Okay, so I got the mail. And just taking a breather before I walk home. And what I'm on my I'm on my uh, my second bench by the shuffleboard court and my oak tree that I like so much. And there's the gazebo. I think I'm gonna walk over to the gazebo and uh, go through my mail on the picnic table there. So I'm on my way home now. I uh, I went over to the gazebo and uh, between the time that I got up from my bench and walked over to the gazebo there were like three or four people there congregating right in front of the gazebo and uh, two of them had dogs and there were dogs were running around loose and everything and so I said oh, I'm just gonna walk home um, Let's see, it's uh, it's uh, seven minutes after three in the afternoon, so I miss the, I'm going to miss the first, most of the first half of um, Gunsmoke. Uh, they've been playing the old black and white hour-long ones with Festus. And uh, here comes the lawnmower guy now. As you can see, it's a happening neighborhood. People outside, talking with their neighbors. Ah, you know, that kind of thing. Sound like a gunshot or a firecracker in the background. Uh, behind those homes, it's kind of a ranch farm kind of thing. And the fellow, I don't know how many, Maybe it's uh, 50 or 60 acres he owns. Hi. There's the uh, blue flowers that I love so much. Not too many flowers out today. Uh, this fella over here, he's still got his Halloween decorations out. As I go by, I'll just quickly pan the camera there. I won't say anything. I think he's outside Mona's lawn right now but I'll just nonchalantly swivel the camera over. A lot of lawnmower guys out today. This is a big part of my life at uh, Happy Land. Going to get the mail every day. It's a mile walk here, so just uh, turn the camera a little bit here. Over there. 
guy still thinks it's Halloween. <laughs> Yeah, it's quite an exciting life I live. It's like Merle Haggard said, I, I live the kind of life that most men only dream about. It's about a half mile from, from my front porch to the mailbox, about a half mile each way. A little more than a half mile, so it's a, a mile walk. I really do miss, you know, walking out the front door and walking a few feet and getting the, having that mailbox in the front yard there and getting the mail, you know. Half the time I forget the key. So I'll be like halfway there and then decide, well, I'll go back and get the key and then start out again, you know. So I headed home. Home sweet home there. Sweet home Alabama. All right, I'm gonna sign off for now. And then when I, of course, it's a great shot of Foxy's tree. was uh, when we first moved here 12 years ago I it didn't look good for that tree at all it was just a little twig like a little this little sapling and it was kind of like is it gonna make it you know it's a good tree though lots of limbs A lot of, a lot of acorns on the ground, as you can see. I've got to rake them up. So, YouTube friends, that wraps up another exciting adventure of Richard Maybe Presents. And I usually don't, I usually forget to say this at the end. Please do hit the like button. And also... Please, if you if you if you haven't subscribed yet, please do subscribe and hit the bell. Uh, it helps me with the um, the big wheels at YouTube. So I appreciate that very much. So I'll sign off. As always, stay strong, stay stay happy, stay healthy. This is Richard Maybe signing off.